Hello and welcome to another episode of today's GK. I am Pooja Devedi and in this segment we bring to you objective questions on a daily basis to help you crack prelims. Let's begin with the practice question of the last segment. Article 243D of the Indian Constitution includes provisions related to which of the following? The correct answer is option B that is reservation and panchayat. Now Article 243D enables the reservation of seats for SCs, STs, women and OBCs in every panchayat. And the number of seats or reserve shall bear, as nearly as may be, the same proportion to the total number of seats to be filled by direct elections in that panchayat as the population of the scheduled caste in that panchayat area or of the scheduled tribes in that panchayat area bears to the total population of that area and such seats may be allotted by rotation to different constituencies in a panchayat. Moving on, which of the following is or are the cause of failure of revolt of 1857? The large princely states did not join the rebellion. The leaders could not offer effective leadership to the movement as a whole. The rich merchants, traders and zamindars of Bengal helped the British to suppress the revolt. So we have to select the correct statements. All are correct. Option D is the correct answer. Our minister has requested the central government to build a memorial for martyrs of the revolt of 1857 in front of the Rashtrapati Bhavan. If we talk about the causes of failure of the revolt, first is limited uprising because the revolt was mainly confined to the Dua region. Many large princely states such as Hyderabad, Mysore, Travancore and Kashmir as well as the smaller ones such as of Rajputana did not join the rebellion. The southern provinces did not take part in it. The rebels lacked an effective leadership, although some leaders such as Nana Saheb, Tantya Topia and Rani Lakshmi Bai were brave leaders. They could not offer effective leadership to the movement as a whole. It was much localized. And the rebels lacked resources, of course, in terms of men and money and also weapons. The English, on the other hand, had received a steady supply of men, money and arms. The English-educated middle class were indifferent and the rich merchants, traders, amindas of Bengal helped the British to suppress the revolt. Consider the following statements. International Counter-Terrorism Conference 2022 was organized by the Global Counter-Terrorism Council. Global Counter-Terrorism Council is an arm of the United Nations Security Council against terrorism. As we have to select the correct statement, option 1, that is option A is going to be the correct answer. Recently, the International Counter-Terrorism Conference was organized by the Global Counter-Terrorism Council. GCTC is an international think tank council with an overarching mission of reducing the vulnerability of people worldwide to terrorism by preventing combating and prosecuting terrorist acts and countering incitement and recruitment to terrorism. Moving on, the TSR Subramaniam Committee is associated with which of the following? The correct answer to this question is option B, Establishment of Indian Environment Services. Recently, the Supreme Court asked the Centre to establish a dedicated IES, that is Indian Environment Service at All India level. The creation of it was recommended by a committee headed by the former Cabinet Secretary TSR Subramanian in 2014. The committee was established to review environmental laws in the country and to bring them in line with the then required needs. Looking at the current administrative setup, it can be inferred that the government servants might not be able to spare special time for environmental causes. India had a strong environment policy and legislative framework, but weak implementation. Because of this, it has resulted in environmental governance being criticized by conservation experts and the judiciary. It is also pointed out that there was no effective coordination among various ministries and institutions regarding the integration of environmental concerns. Moving on, consider the following statements. The concept of restitution of conjugal rights in India has colonial origins. The law recognizes the conjugal rights both in person and criminal laws. So we have to select the correct statement. Both are correct. Option C is the correct answer. Now, conjugal rights are rights created by marriage. That is, the right of the husband and of the wife to the society of the other spouse. The law recognizes these rights both in personal laws dealing with marriage, divorce and in criminal laws requiring payment of maintenance and alimony to the spouse. Section 9 of the Hindu Marriage Act 1955 and Section 22 of the Special Marriage Act of 1954 empowers a husband or wife to move the local district court to move to the local district court complaining that the other partner has withdrawn from the marriage without a reasonable cause. The concept of restitution of conjugal rights is codified in Hindu person law now, but has colonial origin. Originating from Jewish law, basically, the provision for restitution of conjugal rights reached India and other common laws countries through British rule. 
British law treated wives as their husband's personal possession. Hence, they were not allowed to leave their husbands. Similar provisions exist in Muslim personal law as well as Divorce Act of 1869 which governs Christian family law. Incidentally, in 1970, the UK repealed the law on restitution of conjugal rights. Consider the following statements. Ministry of Culture carries out selection process of tableau for the Republic Day Parade in order for all states to get representation. States are given representation on a rotational basis. So we have to select the correct statement. Option B is the correct answer. The floats of 12 states and 9 ministries or government departments have been selected for participation in the Republic Day Parade. The CM of West Bengal, Tamil Nadu and Kerala had written to the Prime Minister after the tableau was not, were not selected for the parade. The Ministry of Defence carries out the selection process of tableau for the Republic Day Parade. That is why first statement was incorrect. The Ministry sets up an expert committee with distinguished people from various fields of arts to shortlist the tableau proposals received from various states and organizations. The expert committee consists of prominent persons in the field of art, culture, painting, sculpture, music, architecture, choreography. In order for all states to get representation, states are given representation on a rotational basis. It needs to be noted that writing or use of logos or tableau is not allowed, except the name of states or union territories that are presenting it on the day of parade. There is also a pattern to where the names of the states should be written in Hindi in the front, in English at the back and in regional language on the sides of the tableau. With respect to Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act, consider the following statements. The Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment is the monitoring authority of the entire implementation of this scheme. And Social Audit of Mandrega work is mandatory. We have to select the correct statement. Option B is going to be the correct answer. The central government has written to the state of Jharkhand asking it to ensure that action is taken with full force with respect to irregularities in social audit of Mandrega works. The scheme was introduced as a social measure that guarantees the right to work. The key tenet of the social measure and labour law is that the local government will have to legally provide at least 100 days of wage employment in rural India to enhance the quality of life. The Ministry of Rural Development, Government of India is monitoring the entire implementation of the scheme and in association with the state government's right to get unemployment allowances in case employment is not provided within 15 days of submitting the application or from the date when work is sought is also provided, so a social audit of Mandrega work is mandatory, which leads to accountability and transparency. Burkina Faso's neighbours have condemned an attempted coup in the African state. Consider the following statements with respect to Burkina Faso. It is the former French colony. It is the landlocked country in Southeast Africa. Its capital is Ogadougou. So we have to select the correct statement. First and third are correct. Second is not correct. Let's know why. Option C is the correct answer. Burkina Faso's army said that it has ousted President Arush Kabore, suspended the constitution, dissolved the government and the National Assembly and closed the country's borders. Burkina Faso is a landlocked country in West Africa, not Southeast Africa, and it is bordered by Mali, Niger, Benin, Togo and Ghana, and the Ivory Coast. Its capital and largest city is Ugaduga. A former French colony, Burkina Faso has suffered chronic instability since gaining independence in 1960, including several coups. The country's main meaning land of the honest men was picked by revolutionary military officer Thomas Sangare, who took power in 1983 and he was toppled and killed in 1987. Moving on, let's look where Burkina Faso is. Landlocked country in West Africa. The National Tourism Day is celebrated every year on the 25th of January. The theme for the year 2022 is Option A is going to be the correct answer, rural and community-centric tourism. National Tourism Day is observed on the 25th of January every year to celebrate the diversity of the country. Theme is rural and community-centric tourism for this year. Moving on, consider the following statements. India and Israel are observing the 50th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic ties. The commemorative logo launched by the countries features the star of David and Ashok Chakra. We have to select the not correct statement. Option A is going to be the correct answer. India and Israel have launched a commemorative logo to mark the 30th and not the 50th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic ties between the two countries. The logo which has been launched to commemorate this is featuring the star of David and the Ashok Chakra, the two symbols that adorn the national flags of both countries and forms, the numeral 30 depicting the 30th anniversary of bilateral relations. With respect to National Voters Day, Consider the following statements. The first ever National Voters Day was celebrated on January 25, 2011 to encourage more young voters to take part in the electoral process. 
the theme for the years for this year's National Voters Day is making elections inclusive, accessible, and participative. So we have to select the correct statement. Both are correct. Option C is going to be the correct answer. The National Voters Day is celebrated every year on 25th January to encourage the country's voters to participate in the electoral process. This is the 12th edition which is being celebrated. And the first ever National Voters Day was celebrated on January 25th, 2011 to encourage more young voters to take part in the electoral process. The union government, then led by the Prime Minister Manmohan Singh, approved a proposal of the law ministry to this effect. The theme for this year's National Voters Day is making elections inclusive, accessible and participative. Now let's move on to the practice questions for the next segment. With reference to a star campaigner, consider the following statements. Expenditure incurred on the electioneering by a star campaigner is borne by the concerned political party and not by an individual candidate. When the Prime Minister is a star campaigner, the expenditure incurred on security is borne by the government. So we have to select the correct statement. That's it for today. Tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment. Until then, stay updated and thank you so much for watching.